everybody. This is Ryan from Magic Wheelchair. Uh, we get a lot of questions about Toothless and how we made them, so we're going to show you. So first and foremost, Toothless wouldn't have turned out nearly as epic as he did without the help of the guys at the Stan Winston School of Character Arts. So the design process, um, you got to start with the design, a, a, a simple drawing. Uh, you move from the drawing to a three-dimensional sculpt out of um, foam, a little bit of art and science. So we made, I think we made two or three prototypes using uh, cheaper foams. We wanted to make sure that the, it was going to fit right on the chair and it wasn't going to be too big. These are kids in wheelchairs that are cruising around amongst other kids and they also need to fit through doors. So Toothless is a very iconic, recognizable character. He has a very unique head. So we, we wanted to, to nail the head. You know, getting that initial sculpt right really, really paid off in the end. So when we were making the eyeballs, the material we used as a catalyzer is kept melting the bowls that we had the eyeballs in. So we had this idea of floating it in water as it catalyzed, and we got a perfect looking set of eyeballs. And there it is. There's the, the final head. Came out awesome. The wings had to be really articulate so they could be folded up, folded in, uh, and moved in a way that Keaton could get through doors and around people and be able to trick or treat. So we made a, a special mount for the wings. They actually go underneath his seat, and Keaton sits on top of them and helps keep them in place. We had a lot of people want to help build Toothless. Uh, I got contacted by a guy back east. His name is Artie, and uh, he wanted to make the legs, and that's how we got the legs. Thanks, Artie. So the first attempt with the towel was an epic failure, and uh, after meeting with Ted Haynes and some guys at Stan Winston School, told me there's no failures, there's just learning experiences, and uh, made a second tell through that experience and came out pretty awesome. And here's the final tell. So with the prototype materials, Lana was able to put together Bryce's costume, which is a furry gronkle. Lana did that in one day. So this is this is Halloween day. This is, this is everything coming together. We we pulled in the troops. There's there's Mikey, Sam, and Troy helping out. It was an awesome day. All of us working, putting a toothless together. So people always ask how we did the skin, and that was actually a, a tip from Ted Haynes and Bill Bryan, as they were building a, a character at the same time we were building toothless. It's just taking uh, plastic, kind of like a trash bag some spray adhesive and a heat gun and uh, gives you that wrinkled dragon skin effect. So not only did we have to dress up Keaton's chair, but we had to dress Keaton up and Bryce as well. So we had to have accessories for that. We had helmets and, and shields and wigs and swords. And here here it is. This is this is toothless, done, complete and ready to roll. It came out awesome. People would turn their cars around to get out and check it out. So a big part of these costumes is inclusion, helping these kids to feel included and have an amazing time on Halloween. Not just be a kid in a wheelchair, but be a dragon rider. And that's exactly what we were able to do for Keaton and Bryce. People would come out of their houses to, to interact and talk with Keaton and Bryce. So there I am with Toothless. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. We really enjoyed making Toothless. It was an awesome experience.